Welcome to the quick overview of the latest ISDT charger, codenamed A4. It's designed to charge all double and triple A sized cylindrical batteries and supports all chemistries available on the market, which are automatically detected by the charger. The unique selling point of the A4 is its size and weight, or lack of thereof, and also the fact it can be charged from any USB source. At 36 grams only, it makes a perfect travel charger that can be powered from a battery bank, for example. Apart from the charger itself, inside the box we also find a comprehensive user manual in English and Chinese, and also a micro USB charging cable. The A4 is made of plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. On the contrary, it's extremely well put together, and as with other SDT products, Attention to details is excellent. On the front we have a micro USB charging port here and there are some LEDs on the other side. And that's about it. There's really not much to talk about here in terms of design. It's very basic and simple and the only thing worth mentioning is the charger's weight which is indeed 36 grams and also its size, which is not much larger than a double A battery. Quite impressive really. Since this is a very simple charger, there's not much to talk about when it comes to using it. We simply insert our batteries and we can use any of the slots and we can use any combination of the batteries since the A4 has four individual and separate charging channels. After that, we simply plug in any 5 to 9 volt power source using a micro USB connector and we're pretty much ready to go. After powering the charger, it performs a self-test indicated by all LEDs flashing once here. If everything is OK, the LEDs remain off after the test. In case there are some problems, LEDs will flash red. All the error codes are explained in the manual. During the charging process, a corresponding LED will keep flashing once if the battery level is under 25%, twice if it's between 25 and 75%, and three times for battery level over 75%. When a battery is fully charged, a corresponding LED will turn green. There is no way to control any charging parameters on A4 and the maximum charging current is 1 amp per slot, providing of course that our USB source is powerful enough. The only way to reduce the charging current if we want to do so is simply to use less powerful source. Also, as you can imagine, we cannot use the A4 for discharging, priming or storing our batteries. It's just a simple charger. ISDT calls the A4 a smart charger and there is a good reason for that. Apart from being able to automatically detect the battery chemistry, it also has built in several protection features which should make the charging process straightforward and foolproof. Just to mention, it has over temperature, short circuit, timeout, over power, over voltage, over current, over capacity and also reverse polarity protection. Additionally, it has a non-rechargeable battery indication. At this point, you might be wondering why I'm not actually using the charger in the video. Well, that brings me to a bit of a warning. While testing the charger, I was trying to see if and how the reverse polarity protection works. First of all, it's impossible to charge a battery wrong way around since the plus contacts on the charger are slightly recessed so if we insert the battery that way it's simply not going to work because there won't be any contact on this side however to test the feature properly I've inserted a small metal plate between the minus side of the battery and plus contact here but unfortunately the A4 stopped working afterwards I'm not sure if there's actually no reverse polarity protection here 
or if I was simply unlucky, but for the time being I would strongly suggest try to avoid testing that feature as it might not work as intended and it's likely it will fry the charger. And this is pretty much everything I wanted to mention regarding the A4 in terms of the design, its features and operation. I also wanted to run a few performance tests to see the power draw when using different USB sources and charging different number of batteries at the same time. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it since the charger broke during my tests. As soon as I get a replacement, I will update this review. After using A4 for a few days, I must say they had liked it a lot as a travel, portable or a car charger. Because of its size and weight, you can simply put it in your bag, a backpack or a pocket and won't even notice it's there. Typically for ASDT, the build quality and attention to details are excellent. One feature I'm missing here is a switch to limit the charging current while using quick charging or high power USB source. Also, let me stress this again, please bear in mind that the reverse polarity protection may not work as intended on this product, so I will be very careful with that. At the end, I think the A4 is a very interesting product and at $14 only, definitely worth considering if you are in the market for a truly portable double and triple A battery charger. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of ISDT new product. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.